Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Anu Bajaj from Gallery Art Positive. Um, welcome uh, today to this uh, very interesting uh, session that we have on a topic which is uh, very pertinent right now, the art environment and the city. Um, while we are in lockdown, uh, art is, has come to our rescue. It's, uh, you know, whether it's cinema, whether it's poetry, whether it's music, uh, whether it's literature. So it's art, which is actually, you know, uh, giving us some relief and respite from this lockdown. Um, art also has, uh, you know, a much bigger role to play. Art is an expression of, uh, of, what, of what we think or what the artists think or what of, of that age, of that time, of, of an ideology. Art is also an agent of change. And uh, we have, uh, you know, a lot of uh, artists who are, uh, uh, you know, sharing their ideologies and what they do vis-a-vis uh, -vis what they represent on, uh, on their artwork, on their canvas or, or their medium uh, of, of expression. Um, so at Art Positive, we are taking this pandemic as a challenge to change uh, you know, our thrust and our focus to more, uh, you know, talks, more uh, discussions like these, where we uh, talk about our role and our responsibilities towards ecology and uh, how we can, uh, you know, improve and, and how we can help uh, in sustaining it, uh, you know, in a, in a long term, uh, you know, manner. So uh, today we have with us Jagannath Panda, whose work uh, is actually, it's a, it's a, a, a beautiful, uh, you know, mix or amalgamation of, uh, of uh, tradition and modernity of, you know, what is, uh, um, uh, of what is found, you know, in the villages and what is found in urban, uh, you know, metropolises. And uh, he talks a lot about development and globalization and uh, you know uh, what are, are are the benefits and what are the downfalls uh, and what we should watch out for so we'd like to invite jagannath today to share his thoughts his ideologies uh, with us and to moderate this session is uh, pranamita bargohain who's our curator so i'd like to invite you pranamita to now start the discourse and take it forward uh, good afternoon, everyone, and I'd like to welcome you all to our second session of Art Plus Practice. And thank you, Anu Bajaj, Gal Director, Gallery Art Positive, for the introduction. So as we both decided, like Art Plus Practice is a series of artist virtual studio uh, visit or talk or presentation that will deep dive into the diverse artistic practices motivations and their personal journeys. It shall be divided in a, into a series format with specific concerns, themes or materialities that make each artist practice or artist artwork uh, unique. So right now, as we are focusing on the artist whose practice is based on environment, and in our first session, we had already artist Arun Kumar HD, and today we have artist Jagannath Panda with us. So before starting, I'll just give a brief about Shield Art also. It is a small initiative, non-profit, started by, founded by me with the help of few artist friends. And uh, some of you already know and have been a part of the same. So we have been working since five years uh, with a small effort to encourage young talents uh, with exchange of thoughts and discourse. We have been doing this uh, through artist talks, presentations, workshops, studio visits, or exhibitions and we generally collaborate with some entity uh, to do this and for this online presentation we have joined hands with gallery art positive and we hope this online presentation will inspire some of the young upcoming talents to pursue or follow their vision and we always encourage interactive conversation and today also i want all the participants or young artists not to be hesitant and come forward and ask whatever you have in your mind or uh, don't bother about the language also. That is our format always. Or if you want, you can also type your comments in the chat box and I'll get back to you once the presentation is over. 
So as you already know, today we have Jagannath Panda, which is one of most eminent contemporary artists of India. He does not need an introduction, but still I'm just giving a brief. So born in 1970, Jagannath Panda grew up in Bhubaneswar. Uh, after uh, doing his uh, BFA at Bhubaneswar's BK College of Art and Craft, he pursued his MFA in uh, sculptures from MS University of Baroda, Gujarat in 1994. Uh, in 1997, he was invited to Fukuoka University of Education in Japan as a visiting fellow. And he then received a further MA uh, uh, in sculptures at the Royal College of Art London in 2002. Uh, Panda has had multiple solo shows since 1998 in Tokyo, Mumbai, New Delhi, London, Berlin, and San Francisco, in addition to numerous group show and um, of national and international group shows with well-known uh, galleries and museums. His most recent solo show was Crystal City, was held at Vadera Art Gallery in 2017. And we hope to see some of the images from that exhibition too. And in 2011, most importantly, Panda launched the Utsa Foundation for Contemporary Arts in Bhuvaneshwar, a non-profit organization uh, with a vision to promote and nurture the art and culture of the region. So we also Hope to hear from uh, hear from him for, about the initiative of the foundation as well. So Jagannath, you can start your presentation now, and uh, we are going to hear from. Hey. Uh, oh, thank you, Anu and Pranamita, for inviting me for this talk, and I'm very happy. And this is a very interesting, very strange situation that we all uh, are facing, and there's a there's a sense of uh, uncertainty. And uh, and this uncertainty is, I think, uh, there's a, a lot of hope uh, around it. And if we if we look at it in in our uh, uh, through our different uh, perception, so we are feeling like we just uh, uh, losing our freedom or something. But let me start with uh, something I have uh, put thought together. I said. Uh, there is a freedom when we realize that we are just witness to all that happening around us. If we could just see that all the state of minds are temporary. You know, I've been talking about this uh, through my work, uh, uh, you know, several uh, years, uh, the temporality and uh, aspect of, uh, uh, you know, permanency, I create a kind of uh, just a post altogether. And uh, in context of uh, environment, I wanted to just say some of uh, ideas like, uh, you know, I must say this ideas of environments are always constant changing phenomena. As a human being, a lot of our elements such as uh, body, spirit, desire, ego, and memory into understanding of environment. They often carry our innermost concern and conflict. At the time of, I took a time of the con, uh, construct of relationship for the environment as a part of us, but there are times when we stand alienated from, from it, you know, the nature gets a part, depart from us. And sometimes we discover, we try to make this inner and outer environment and harmonious. That is always our struggle that to make uh, this inner and outer environment to be, you know, uh, be harmonious and uh, and so that we became a, like a peaceful life for us. I believe nature can be, you know, it's a kind of, uh, uh, can be an uh, endless sources of subject for us if we can engage ourselves through art. Through art, we can talk about closer to look at the dynamic interaction between nature and the culture. We need to understand the complexity and the interdependency are the one of the first step towards sustainability. That is very vital for our the way we approach nature, and I believe art can be a catalyst for it. So I draw many uh, uh, many uh, visual and social economical experience from our life and uh, let me share with uh, 
with my presentation. Hello, can anybody see this? Yeah. So, so basically, uh, you know, I moved to Gurgaon and uh, Gurgaon has a lot of uh, influence uh, uh, on me in a very different way. Uh, in 2005, I moved to Gurgaon and uh, the changing landscape uh, the changing landscape of gurgaon always inspired uh, me in a different uh, way to my artwork so there was a sense of uh, great aspiration and a sense of uh, chaos all together uh, in the place as a continuously producing lot of uh, 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 producing lot of uh, stories or uh, you know kind of grand epic so this became a inspiration and uh, also uh, i uh, many works started with uh, kind of uh, questioning to the space and kind of questioning myself as a as a participant to all this development happening around me so uh, this is the work uh, 2006 uh, when i moved to sun city uh, there was a debate going on between the people are believing a uh, group of people believing the feeding to the dog and they believe it's a good karma and the group of people they believe it's a dogs are nuisance and they're troubling the city so they became having conversation and uh, uh, and uh, fight so i was this is so interesting story that uh, that the experience i gone through and uh, this work image out of uh, come out of it. So I started to uh, bring in the image of like a different animal. Uh, the way traditionally we look at a goat as an innocent uh, or tiger as a like a villain or something like that. So I try to put as a contrary position in a different uh, thing. And landscape became became an important source of inspiration. And uh, because my earlier practice, I a, I grew up in Orissa and uh, um, in, a, in a traditional art and culture uh, was always inspired me in a different way. So I started to juxtapose with uh, uh, the palm leaf painting, uh, manuscript painting and the brocade uh, and, uh, and creating this landscape and, uh, uh, and juxtaposing this and create uh, between this and uh, uh, have a like a new narrative out of it. I have a almost like 80-90s uh, slides. Paranamika, uh, you must tell me if I run out of time and then I can quickly push through. This is the work uh, I called Ancestor, it's a large uh, pickup. Uh, when I moved to Gurgaon, I, uh, I live between Delhi and Gurgaon, the Jayanagar. I started to encounter with the pickup and I see that uh, the you know uh, the story through them you know uh, so I, it became a they became an actor to my uh, my painting my sculpture in 2008 9 uh, I've been just constantly watching that the development and the Commonwealth and uh, we've been constantly bombarded with the images of destruction and realignment of city and that influenced a lot to my artwork and uh, I come out with uh, this uh, so-called action of nowhere, uh, where uh, you see uh, the, the mandalas. The mandalas, as we look at as a very quiet uh, element, and uh, it's, a, it's a space, it's a kind of diagram for the god, as we all know. So I created a new kind of mandala, which is exploding, or is it going inwards, or something like that with image using a lot of collage and fabric. Uh, again, in uh, 2010, this work was started with uh, multiple uh, painting with a multiple perspective of city. And uh, 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 
um, juxtaposed with uh, 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 you know uh, some image from a palm leaf painting and again some of the images like uh, you see the ravanas with uh, which made out of uh, brocades a lot of brocade with uh, when we put the light so the brocade animate so uh, so this whole painting composition start with uh, studying the city with multiple perspective you know where uh, the migrant labor at one side are the building their home and there's a multi story building or mncs are building in other stuff other part and uh, there's a there's a reference of uh, old trees from angkor wat been here so i try to bring different narrative and story and put them together and uh, create a new uh, uh you know imagery in my work this is called uh, fragmented if the well the uh, realignment city there's a lot of thing been uh, destructed so in reference i created a multiple drawing and this is one of that so devon uh, democracy in neverwood uh, the the tree became a important uh, uh, storyteller that time you know the series of work i i, I did uh, the tree became a, a more uh, more uh, witness to the all that events have been happening uh, the thousands of trees been cut up so i was imagining uh, a lot of delhi trees are very old and uh, they have they have uh, so many stories to say almost like we been seeing as a city uh, wiping out the memories with live memories of cities and rebuilding building and new stories and uh, it's a time my way of looking at it and documenting this uh, this memories or the the story from uh, this the trees what uh, i have seen and cutting down and made in front of me so again uh, in 2013 i got a big commission work for uh, uh, you know bombay airport uh, so i i proposed that uh, idea of uh, forest looking city through a forest because in any um, uh, epics or mythology you see the uh, forest are very important uh, uh, aspect to our life and you know, a lot of things are happened through uh, Uh, within the forest even the darkness of forest so i was looking at the city through forest and telling that st story because the here uh, these uh, trees are almost like a a life uh, force of bombay's uh, past maybe you can see the these are made out of brocade of fabric bombay history is uh, a, a started with a lot of textile factory and uh, these are almost like a almost like emblem of chimneys or or life force that keep talking about how the city been growing this is some of her close up so sorry so i have created the uh, this uh, wooden katola a uh, digital manipulated images of uh, discarded images that been thrown out so I, i i document them and put them together and this wooden katola is a uh, it looks like a, a, a mythical or also looks like some point it's um uh, futuristic and they've been coming to city in a time and bringing different story so this is uh, the work i create uh, in 2012 a uh, mixed media work and this is a large uh, very demonic figure from a uh, jain manuscript uh, painting and i i try to see a window looking at the dark cities uh, and then this demon figure appearing uh, from calendar and cutting down the tree branches again 2012 i've been interested with a lot of uh, images uh, uh, sign you know sign that is from derived from um, uh, from our uh, uh, tradition or the computer image or the man made image or i constructed the uh, sign so 
using this uh, sign language, I try to create a multiple imagery. It uh, some point looks like a, um, you know, uh, is a cityscape or uh, uh, or like you are looking at a sky at some point. It's a dark river uh, made out of a uh, plastic pipe. I was been witness to see that uh, that uh, when the city been building, they use uh, paved a lot of piping goes underneath. Uh, we later use as a as a human waste. Uh, so it's go back to again uh, water go back to the Jamuna. So I try to bring that uh, the story of uh, Kalia. You know, uh, the the Jamuna is being. Uh, been the story of uh, uh, love story of Krishna Radha and uh, also Kalia, who is a poisonous snake. So we constantly pouring this toxic water into Yamuna. So I try to bring that love and uh, uh, poison all together and create a, in this culture. Again, going back 2006, uh, I was in Gujarat. I see this goat. Uh, uh, it inspired me. It's uh, been uh, been gifted to the temple because the, generally what happened the, before the Bali Pratha, they used to kill, the, but now they don't kill. The, the, the go, uh, goat became a god goat. So he's very happy and traveling around. It's very kind of solid figure. I inspired and created this sculpture. Again, some point I go back to to miniature painting reference from Pahadi miniature or something. I see that uh, mm, that uh, the on on restraints are there. If you look at uh, uh, police been hitting uh, to someone, uh, we don't know whether he's a victim or he's a culprit. Uh, here's something we see that uh, uh, that uh, that some kind of uh, you know, unhappy situation that I try to bring out through drawing, which is uh, invisible. We not see. We uh, in 2011-12 also I have been uh, inspired by a lot of optical illusion uh, work, which is just opposed with uh, different uh, uh, other images uh, from different. Uh, historical or political sources. So this is the Gandhi been uh, addressing to the nation and this is fast microphone uh, he's been using. So mm, I, it's, it's interesting to put this uh, image, uh, mm, uh, optical illusion and uh, the Gandhi been talking about something which is uh, still, I'm not clear about it. So again, the optical illusion come through looking at the object and putting object to, you know, just opposing towards the city and uh, and seeing it in a in a very kind of uh, uh, through a prism, prism, you know, which is a image reproduced in multiple way. So the same image I try to bring them into my painting uh, along with the. Uh, 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 this optical illusion elements and creating a, a vast landscape. You know, even you see there's a lot of uh, images from miniature painting. Um, painting some been constructed, some uh, been taken from particular reference of uh, 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 of a miniature painting. This painting called the uh, Anatomy of Supplant. These are few other images uh, uh, drawing I was interested, I created through, and where the geometries are became an important role along with uh, my, my interest towards uh, draftsman see for making kind of uh, constructing new images or building a collage or creating a new, uh, conversation around it. So this is called Epics of Uncanny Brotherhood.
again the same time also the sum of my series of my drawing uh, been associated with two aspects of one I started to draw as a uh, as a line drawing observing any miniature painting or some image I created by my own and other I collage I just uh, I enjoy cut out of all these calendars of different story of uh, Mm, love story of Radha Krishna or the Ramayana or Mahabharata calendar. I cut it and deconstruct the whole the uh, incident and uh, and again recompose them and uh, create a almost like a diagram of a house uh, uh, inside home or like a structure of some kind of architectural construction site. Again, I gone back, same ideas. It's called uh, Topology of Uncanny Brotherhood. It's almost like 15 feet uh, long and six feet high. Mm, same way I approach, I continuously bombard with imagery from computer generated image of symbol and some images I taken from uh, different sources of traditional uh, uh, motifs or, and uh, uh, again collage with uh, some cut out from calendar calendars and create a multiple uh, narrative here what i enjoy bringing down down from different story from different time uh, from present to past uh, uh, it's almost uh, uh, layers of image and creating new narrative out of it uh, if you look at the background you almost look look out uh, look at like kind of uh, a big thick wall or or a sky or something constellation then built up with multiple layers of imagery you see that uh, uh, some kind of chaos of city uh, multiple imagery overlapping each other and other image you can see uh, uh, from potter painting which is we can call it bandha when uh, all this image of human figure they come together and create a animal form or the, the chariot or any kind of uh, uh, event. So uh, it's almost like a kind of big epics. So again, coming back to uh, plastic pipe uh, I've been done a couple of uh, sculpture this is called the cult of survival too and uh, uh, I've been I was thinking you know how this uh, these ideas can snake uh, been snake self ethic snake you know what we've been pouring out of it and it's coming out and we've been consuming that so uh, almost I build that narrative with uh, with a very monumental uh, uh, sculpture and it is coming uh, continuously producing itself uh, and this kind of uh, uh, the ideas of self-consuming self eating snake we've been seen in India or in, in Greek horoboros uh, or in Chinese culture uh, it's also represent uh, dark and light or life and death it's, uh, it's multiple narrative itself. Some up close up of that. So this is the same series. It's continuously consuming. And if you look at the whole bodies, I try to treat with a different, uh, 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 different treatment of, uh, uh, you know, layers and surface. So 2000, uh, this work is called Feral Spear, is made out of 2007. And the spear, I started with uh, drawing of like a world map and start collaging and uh, creating different collages of fabric. And slowly this collage became, uh, uh, became, uh, uh, became a different kind of insect or a snake. And this whole line of world map uh, Became a more almost like a life that keep entering to each of each territory, and uh, and became a, a shifting whole narration ideas of uh, map 
into different level. So uh, this is in 2012 again, this trajectory of lobe and head. So this both uh, surface one, I, it's very kind of, uh, uh, it's, it's like a timepiece. It's a continuous uh, producing and uh, engaging the, you know, consuming all that uh, we produce. And there's a both way we see one is a very organic, uh, imagery that been cut out from different fabric and uh, or, or different sources and all the images have been hand drawn from discarded uh, all these uh, images that we discarded plastic or anything that goes to the landfill that all together became a creative mandalas or on or a, or a time, timeless story out of it I'm going back to 2015, uh, uh, this some of our image I have put together is called uh, the trans narrative. The trans narrative uh, is, is exhibition I did in 2015 in Halcyon Gallery in London. And uh, this uh, two large sculpture and couple of painting collage. It's bringing out a different story from different time. Uh, and uh, this is called Wizard of Westland. It's a, uh, it's a reference to the golden deer of Raman. And uh, this is another large sculpture. Uh, it's called the Being, which is made out of fiberglass and covered with uh, fabric. And again, it's a, mm, a reference to my my time I was uh, in Kajiranga forest uh, and uh, I've been seeing that uh, this oldest being uh, of art in India is, uh, is, is gone out of our memories. And uh, this sculpture has been exhibited uh, and someone say, uh, not identify as a rhino, he said the hippo, he, he said, yeah, I really like your hippo. So I was thinking like this oldest mammal has gone out of memory and uh, it's a life force. It's almost like stopping or telling the story, what uh, we've been thinking, what he's been thinking about. So I don't know, I stuck. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, Jagannath. So, uh, so my PPT is stuck, I can't move. Okay. Uh, just a minute, let me. How, how can I do that, you know? Can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, but, uh, but my, okay. But uh, I cannot, uh, I can't move my cursor. Come on. Huh? Command. Command. Sorry. Sorry, I'm so sorry. It's just uh, something. Uh, it got. Hang or yeah, it's got a hang. I don't know why it is. Um, we can unshare and reshare it. It will uh, come back again. Yeah, it's, can you just uh, do something for your end? I'll come back. I'll maybe do something. Okay. Or Jagannath, if you can open the other presentation, if you. I, I because my crosser is. Uh, so I, I because I think it's a hang. Okay. Sorry. Huh? I can't uh, do anything, Kavala. Can you share the presentation? Yes. Okay, okay, right. Let me go back and uh, finish it up quickly. So, so this is the couple of work uh, 
have been exhibited at the uh, uh, Halcyon Gallery in London. So that's a, this is called the doorway of Metropoli. It's almost like a kind of a epic uh, space that uh, been created at the time. Uh, okay. So these are some of other painting. Uh, Angel of Niamgiri on the left, and uh, Gaze of Believer, and the Soldier of Seven Ski. So this is interesting work. You know, I was a, uh, I was in Odisha. I collect some of older Dhokra casting, and uh, it's been with me for a long time. And I'm looking at it, and very look at it. I thought I'm going to use in a painting. So I try to enlarge and just oppose with uh, the background that uh, there was a lot of development happening on this rural landscape. A lot of connection bridge with a, a railroad uh, or uh, the kind of uh, iron ores being taken out and sanding. So all these images are been again referenced from Dhokra sculptures around it. This is another uh, almost like a mural kind of work. It's called Cognitive Being. It's a oldest uh, piece, which is part of uh, looks like a mammal and a face that's been having conversation with uh, another self. Uh, these are a couple of images I'm showing from my last solo show called uh, Crystal City. Uh, I continuously um, use the reference and metaphor of crystal as a, uh, as a, in refer to the Odisha mining or land where this uh, black ore come out and create a multiple narrative when it uh, it's go through different process and uh, it's appear in city. So, I created the last alien st structure. It almost looks like it's appear from erosion from like uh, from the land of city somewhere. I try to use uh, uh, the fabric, very soft fabric, which texture almost looks like iron, and uh, converted it's uh, it's you know the way I represent it, almost like a sharp tool, you know, almost like a very a crystal sharp tool. And uh, it appear very, very well with the different artwork of mine. So uh, one way you see that uh, there was a sense of uh, uh, or gigantic spaceship or something and uh, other aspect of like a miniature landscape around it. This is called Wonderland. Again, there's a city been the attractive land for people and it's not something which is not livable or not practical, uh, which is looks like a futuristic, but uh, it's on uncertainty, some kind of structure is not like balance to the gravity. And on the ground, you see that uh, uh, there's a sculpture, Deeparai Chaudhuri's. Again, this is another painting. It's a Wonderland too. So it's uh, again this mammoth painting where the structures are very important positioning in a painting. There's a speed metal. Again, it's a view that uh, that how the metal are acting. It's either you see that as a drone or a fighter plane or uh, anything that's been moving in the city or above the city and create a chaos or sense of speedness around uh, the landscape. These are some of memory box I created. It's called uh, Dweller of Metropoli. It's a combination of photographs, uh, uh, wallpaper, drawing, collage, plywood, or, you know, found objects. Uh, these are the, some photographs I've been collected from long time from different place. 
I put them together and created this whole uh, narrative. Uh, it's one way it look like uh, a personal memory box. And if you encounter it, you're going to see the larger landscape of the city. So this is another sculpture also for a part of there. It's called Profiter. It's a kind of hybrid sculpture with uh, multiple material uh, and uh, been, been building around having conversation with each other material. It's very emblematic, you know, it's the way this uh, reference to the people, those been there in the city and buying and selling the land. Urban Picker, these are 2019 painting. Some of other paintings have been created the last few. Once again, using the same elements. Uh, and these, these uh, boards are becoming almost uh, like a witness to the city. They are like a uh, having conversations with this between the city and uh, the self. So I'm going to go for like uh, my community drawing all project uh, quickly. So uh, in 2014, I did this uh, community drawing ball project just to engage uh, community. Those people have been, uh, been talking about uh, drawing is, uh, or art making is a different, uh, difficult process. So Barbil Art Project, uh, mm, uh, through Utsa, we've been done a couple of times uh, at the Barbil in uh, 200 kilometers uh, from Odisha is a uh, mining towns. So this work, uh, this drawing wall project started with a several process. First engaging with school children, teaching them how to make a typography cut out from, uh, from newspapers. And uh, then putting them together and it's an interesting process to have a meeting with the different people having conversation and it's a kind of a process to engaging multiple people in the same time you know uh, to to uh, to building this narrative of work so uh, this is interesting as i got called we are here for a reason and this typography we start installed around the world engaging people and then slowly I invite uh, a local community uh, to engage with uh, 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 to the stakes you know to the sentence and uh, they can come out they can re respond to this ideas of we are here for a reason so many of them, they talk about their memory, they talk about their aspiration in a very interesting manner. So I've been constantly collecting uh, a different kind of storytelling through their idea of looking the world. It was very interesting project. I, it was very close to me all the time. I did this project again uh, in Gujarat, uh, uh, in another school, but I don't have that image now. So, so after this drawing over, so I remove all this uh, uh, news cut print uh, cutouts. So it became a, like this. It's like an empty space, uh, and the drawing became a, like cover around. So there was a bamboo craftsman was there. He said he wanted to be a part of. So he also created a bamboo or designed something for, for this artwork. So it appeared like this in the end. So there's a guy, he is, uh, his desire to drive mountain bike and he has to visit mountain. So this is appear like this in the end. Okay, thank you. This I think my end of my slide. Yeah. And uh, if you have a time, then I can talk about the Utsa Initiative and uh, some of my other works. Uh,
Mm. Uh, if you can, um, because we all want to know and see about with the foundation also. So, if you can just. tell and then show something your inspiration behind bringing in with the foundation and that to in bhuvaneshwar and uh, right you let me okay. in person and then show up some more images right right so basically uh, you know the usa foundation uh, we started uh, uh, in uh, 2012 uh, and much before that there was a uh, uh, there was a demand uh, demand uh, from local uh, young artists uh, they uh, they want like uh, they want something can you uh, just one minute hello can you see yeah. it yeah okay. we can see so uh, so every time any young artist from bhubaneswar the visit they said ki jagannath bhai you should come to bhubaneswar and do something but also whenever i visited bhubaneswar i also felt like uh, we need a like alternative space and uh, uh, to have a conversation and uh, we can invite a different genre of practice which is uh, i always see that in orissa different genre of practice uh, they don't generally meet and see each other i thought we should create a space that we can intermingle we can discuss we can come out with different creative ideas so oh, i i approached government and the government was orissa government was very kind they offered me a small modest space so i i developed uh, it as a um, um, as a foundation and also a lot of local artists uh, even my wife anati she also helped me in this regard and uh, what we did we developed a space uh, into a one residency space one studio space and one library a, a library space so uh, basically our main program uh, was like a we do residency we continuously invite a lot of young artists uh, from a uh, different part of india or abroad we invite uh, people to come and talk and uh, we also do lot of uh, project uh, engaging uh, different other uh, organization or the government uh, so uh, since 2012 we been doing a lot of uh, uh, interesting project we mostly the space run by volunteers local artists uh, and a uh, uh, little bit money we have uh, and in 2017 uh, many indian artists they supported uh, donated their artwork and we raised a little fundraising and uh, from that uh, whatever fundraise we did we been continue uh, sustaining our space mm, uh, on your left you see thought loom we did a, a, a collaborative project uh, at the uh, you know book fair so generally book fair is like a only for the books so we uh, we create ideas to engage with uh, uh, writers or a poet whoever comes there and we create a space that they could uh, write down their uh, instant thoughts so then slowly we come we put them all that thoughts into the art books and uh, there was a very interesting we some of other program we did art and ecology and borbil project was our uh, biennale project we do at the borbil uh, we every time we invite a new young curator and a new artist uh, to engage with the space and uh, 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 and in response to the space they create a uh, lot of interesting community or uh, community project or installation or any time anything they really um, want to do there and uh, uh, and this is something uh, our space looks like uh, we have this is our library space generally we do a lot of interaction activity talk we invite some eminent personality uh, I, uh, and uh, from odisha or from abroad uh, from somewhere like uh, we try to or bring some of young artists to interact with them 
Mm, we did some interesting project. Uh, it's called uh, it's Waksa for called Kalinge. You know, it's uh, organized. Uh, uh, Himansu Desai he came and he conducted this Waksa. So it was one of the best workshops I ever seen. Uh, uh, Usa did. So we have uh, in another space, uh, uh, like interacting space uh, uh, outside, uh, some like a uh, you know next to Usa. So we we generally use that space uh, for our talk, or if more people come, we generally use that. It's like an interesting sit out area, uh, relaxing area. So in Bhubneswar Art Trail, uh, we conceptualized, that was one of our uh, major project uh, which uh, did. In 2017, and we conceptualized it and we engaged many uh, stakeholders uh, and artists. So um, in 2018, we did a massive project uh, engaging almost 24 artists and uh, uh, in Old Town, like a place and to curator, me and Prenjis was actively engaged and there was a group of uh, uh, volunteers and program managers. They, they conducted all this uh, project and uh, local companies, government, uh, uh, you know, Bhubaneswar Development Authority and, uh, uh, and tourism department and many other organizers, they come forward and supported this event. So, so how are you going to see uh, BAT uh, in numbers? I'll say that 13,000 visited almost uh, in two, two, three months to interact with this. And 24 artists, we took curator, 13 member of project team, four community uh, association, and 120 volunteers. Uh, they engaged almost two, two months for this project and uh, five member of creative teams 55 member of uh, security team and uh, because a lot of artworks uh, um, uh, we display anywhere because old town is such a place uh, there's no dedicated art uh, art place for uh, 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 for anyone to come and uh, exhibit so we, uh, what we did, we, uh, we draw a map, we survey uh, through different process and uh, Old Town um, has a full of temple and mart and, uh, and water bodies. And there's a lot of uh, private houses. So we, uh, we asked a lot of private houses to lend their space. We asked a lot of temple uh, authority to lend their space for a contemporary, uh, you know, to exhibit our art. So many of them are agreed. So a lot of private houses, we exhibited our artwork and this whole space was almost like uh, a 1.3 kilometer. Enter from Kedagori and it, it, it ends at Bindu Sagar. So, uh, so this is, so if you see that how this space have been uh, changed, uh, you can see is the, what happened, how we change complete whole trail into the art trail. We choose the right kind of color. Old Town is identified with the uh, Geru and white from long time ago. So we come back uh, with the same color. We try to engage local people all to respect this color, uh, create this identity of this place. Uh, uh, we engage the BMC, uh, Bhubaneswa Municipality, to help uh, out to cleaning all the spaces. So we clean up almost like a 60 truck of Malwa from private and public land. And uh, look at this private plot been there for a long time, not been cleared it up. Uh, we clean it and uh, we installed this artwork there. We put a couple of posters like this, you know, uh, invite people and volunteer to part of this project. And how it look after uh, it's open to public. So what happened uh, one, one month, it was like a open-ended residency program for artists and another one month it's run for the public. 
So what biggest challenge we face uh, was challenge with the funding, stakeholder management, and after the event over, we run out money and it was a really terrible situation. We manage by ourselves in a very difficult way. And we replace those work in a other place where we can take care of the sculptures. And a lot of sculpture was a decade uh, in much of the time. Some of uh, work I will quickly I go through because we are running out of time. This is Annika's work. This is Cecil work, Cecil from, uh, uh, from France. She created uh, this discarded uh, diaz and created large uh, uh, in a big feast next to Bindu Sagar. And this is Gigi Scaria's uh, work. Uh, in, uh, uh, he uh, collaborated with an artist and uh, documented whole old town and installed inside a private house. This is an improvat work. So how is this made? This is Marcus work, Marcus from America. He came and he created this interesting sculpture. This is Marcus, he's been doing it. This is Smutikant work. It's kind of Voyager he installed inside the Bindu Sagar water body. This is Subrat Behra's work. Is installed inside the temple. It never happened before. This is a live temple. We we installed artwork inside the temple. So this is amazing to see this. This is uh, uh, this is his work just inside the Garbha area. But these are not uh, like a active temple. This is uh, but some of temples are around are very active. This is Bijan Das. Uh, work is very interactive installation mm -hmm. a lot of performance happen around this work you can see it so he invited many eminent uh, personality to talk about the story of uh, uh, old town and the question answer and all that it's very active uh, stage he created it is uh, the stage was uh, i don't have time to go detail into it maybe sometime We'll talk about detail of um, the, yeah, the, it's really very interesting to see, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, the so, foundation project maybe we have to keep another this, session. Uh, another phrase, yeah. <laughs> this is a Scienton project, Scienton create another work in a water body. So, Old Town is very famous for the water body, eight water bodies. That is, uh, uh, and Old Town also known as a uh, you know. Uh, Gupta Kase is a very interesting, very sacred place. So we rediscovered this whole land in a very different way. This is a, uh, this is a, a Sudarshan Sethi work. If, uh, 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 Pranamita, you can stop me anywhere. I'm okay, I'll, I'll be just um, quick. Yeah, we can. Um, so these are the, some other work in you know, an image. I have another 20, 30 image, but you can stop anywhere if you want. Uh, I think uh, if there are um, yeah. questions, we should keep okay. more questions if there are some people want to ask. Right. Think, um, there is Mukesh Sharma. He wants to speak something. And uh, Mukesh, if you are here, you can speak. Uh, are you, I can unmute you. And there is um, Rachna who was asking uh, about your peacock, peacock work. She was asking... Um, how you have chosen to create only the head and the neck if there is any particular idea or thought about the thing. Right. So, so, so should I ask, should I say, reply to this question first? I think yeah. yes, we are uh, already above six. It's already 6.10, I think, so we can... So, uh, so basically for that particular, uh, uh, I did a couple of uh, painting because depend, depend either you are making a painting or a sculpture, you know, what, uh, how much you wanted to sew and how much you don't want to sew. This is titled called The Ancestor. So I wanted to make this a, a sculpture, a body should be visible and sort of part. Uh, and uh, the part of body I create a collage with other fabrics, which is... Uh, almost like a creating like a 
like a like a garden on the on the on the bottom of the pickup so so make it it's visible it's almost like a part of uh, you know in the ground and it's coming out it's like a dominant presence of itself that's why the hair appear like that and mokesh do you want to speak about your uh, what you want to say you are on mute now lily lily pan hello hello mokesh this is asmita's work he was uh, asking about i am eager to know on the memory box for photographic collect work if okay so so basically uh, uh, you know i was thinking you know one way of collecting photographs are digitally archiving and building your memory when you go back and you just uh, your mind refresh and uh, your your mind take it to the different part in the same time you know one uh, one flash up for time so i thought uh, i thought why not why not uh, creating a landscape which uh, architectural in a part but also the memory box in a sense uh, and, and not only the photograph but also the collective material like a uh, the you know all this abandoned toy my son used to uh, play and then he thrown it so generally i don't uh, uh, i i collect them all and then i i thought it's an interesting combination to create a, a narrative around it so the photographic uh, and, uh, and the object and the drawing and and the material uh, generally we use for uh, uh construction like a uh, architecture where you need plywood or uh, cement or uh, paper or anything or like a paper uh, wall paper and all so all that material became a became a character became a, like a uh, uh, like actor to create this conversation so so i i try to create a multiple possibility of uh, Of, of architectural space as a drawing this was uh, existed in my drawing book before so i taken out some of uh, this random uh, shape and try to make it as a like a sculpture any 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 further question pranamita so so i put it such a way in the wall so it uh, it in a in a way uh, all these boxes are you, you can put them together uh uh combination combination you know uh, and uh, uh, can build a narrative around it it can create a multiple narrative because these are the all uh, different idea box you can say pranamita can you hear me uh, hello 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 maybe maybe yeah. she got dropped i can't okay, see her okay 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 right so i okay so we, you can hear me so yeah. this memory box are uh, 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 you know uh, can this it became an idea box so yeah, this this all little box can put them together in different shapes so it can create a multiple narrative by itself so okay any 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 further question anything come up uh i think uh, i think uh, they have all been answered so uh yeah i think they have all been answered so i think uh, we are good to close this session right uh, um thank you so much jagannath it was thank actually you. fantastic to see uh you know all your works like you know they where would where would we ever uh, you know get this collection and get to see all your 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 whole body of work and uh, the thought process behind it and the fantastic work you're doing with utsa foundation thank you so thank you very much i think uh, uh, we would uh, love to invite you again to talk a little bit more because we had a lot of stuff that we didn't manage to cover right today. and right. we apologize for the technology glitch where right. we lost I'm out so sorry about uh, that no 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 that's okay but uh, 
just set us back by a few minutes but that's yeah. okay so uh, thank you very much uh, jagana and thank you everybody for joining thank you thank you, and, thank you. Uh, have a have a great uh, day and a great weekend thank, thank you, you. Bye -bye. stay safe everybody thank you thank you bye bye